Yo, what's up, people? So, as you might heard of about random LVST that came up quite recently, I would say, and what I what I could see from from the internet and from people who tried it, there is um, no like understanding of what to do with this because you cannot like control I mean, the exact like um, source of this sound as you do in 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 normal synthesizers such as vital or serum so it just uh, make something within it and then you just uh, left with some kind of a, a knob which you move around and something changes but you don't really know what and what to expect but what i thought would be useful from this plugin is that it's it's really cool to use for sound design sessions so imagine you have a project which you don't plan to to evolve into some song and you just want to to produce some sounds which you make for your sample pack and stuff and uh, this random is going to be quite handy and maybe you already know how to use it on from your end but i came up with this uh, idea uh, which uh, made made me to create this uh, rack which I'm going to share with you guys and uh, I wanted to show what I built and uh, what you can do with it so as you can see below it's a instrument rack and within this instrument rack you have a, a drum rack and the reason why it's one within another is because I had previously I had this um, MIDI note generator and uh, I used Sting for this, and you can use whatever you have or you know that is good. I just use it because I like how it produces notes. So basically, uh, what I did here is that I added 16 instances of random. And uh, if you know random, I can show you actually. It has this. Uh, si it has 16 different matters, but only eight of them are used to create uh, 808 space I also used uh, one which uh, or two which create kicks and I used um, matter from super matter so basically I used those because I think those for snares plugs and perks and stuff could be uh, not that useful for bass uh, production but it's totally up to up to you because I will share it with you and, and um, I invite you to play around with it and maybe change the matter or use only one kind of matter on each and stuff. Uh, but let's dive deeper now. So basically what I did here is that I added the uh, random, for example here, right? And then uh, what I did is that I mapped each of these parameter to the macros here and each of these cells has the same setup uh, they are mapped to the same macros so they all control from here and uh, what I also did which is pretty smart is that um, I added this equalizer which basically cuts everything below 120 Hertz because um, this random produces quite uh, muddy low uh, low end and uh, I really didn't like it and I thought what can be done about it and uh, what I did is that I added this um, additional sub from operator which is simply a sine wave uh, and uh, every only thing I did is that I increased the volume to minus 12 so every time you hit the note let me hit it it produces constant sine wave on the sub frequency and you already can hear where it's, where it is going to um this whole thing and basically this is uh, this setup is made for every cell and what i also did which is really smart again <laughs> is that I added uh, an envelope follower to an operator which is then mapped to utility gain 
within this random part of the rack. And what it means? It means that whenever the sub is playing, the random is also playing. And whenever this sub like is not playing, it cuts the volume of the random. And why I did this? Because uh, basically, if you if you don't have this enabled, you can hear this tail. And for some of of the randomized sounds, this tail can be really really muddy, and uh, it it could sound really bad. And this basically resolved this issue. What we are left with is that we can now try to generate some sounds from it. So let me just... Maybe shorter notes are better. So yeah, and whenever I click this uh, random here, which randomizes every every macro despite this note it creates new set of sounds and the sub frequency is always uh, clear and what i also recommend uh, when the, you you're using this uh, rack is to use the fat rack and uh, in this particular case, I use a uh, rack from Bunting. It's the YouTuber which also uh, creates a lot of cool videos about uh, like bass, uh, sound design and everything. I really recommend uh, checking his channel. Shout out to, uh, to Bunting. And also shout out to Oversampled <laughs> because I used his uh, sample pack. I think Oversampled has a really, really clear and really cool uh, samples. You you definitely need to check this out if you didn't uh, check it yet. So let's try to to hear it with the uh, with drums. Maybe we can build some kind of a kind of groove. Just something really simple because I'm not really. And yeah, basically you can use this kind of a template. I mean, like you can have a project where you can have a drum loop, which is just standard one. And then you can play around with the, some grooves. Well, this one is really good. And what you can do now is that you can resample it this way. So we are going to disable this kickstart and then just resample. And basically, uh, now we can start manipulating this sound. Maybe you can change the pitch a bit and do, and do whatever or you can stretch it with a texture and then pitch it down whatever your soul desires basically and yeah imagine you have like a set of like hundreds, hundreds of uh, different sounds and uh i'll be able able to have this uh, thing which is called take lanes and you can just uh, endlessly uh, create some some sounds just like this way so you can just and click random
and uh, you can also I really recommend using some interesting plugin such as like thermal or let's say portal right I will put it before the fat rack to see what happens and let's just try to use any random like uh, preset Wow, this is interesting. Yeah. And yeah, once you are done with it, you you can just uh, save it as MugPy. And Mr. Bill uh, was a great at explaining what my MugPy is. I recommend checking this his video out as well. And um, now let's try to maybe to to cut something from it. Yeah, it sounds really garbage, but uh, I also had some pretty cool results with it. So it's, it's like it's minimalistic, simple, and stuff. And uh, but I wouldn't like um, come up with some sounds like this myself. And for those who really don't like to bother with uh, sound designing or don't want to spend that much time or just want to to let it random randomize for you and feel like uh, rewarded for the for the result you come up with, this is really cool way to come up with ideas to use this rack and uh, yeah I really invite you to uh, think of your ideas what you can uh, add to this rack to improve it or maybe you have really some some something that I didn't see yet and uh, yeah just you could uh, try it yourself and also you can see that I have this random here um, I had it for this for the sake of this uh, scale effect, uh, but I ended up with not using it. But maybe you can find it useful. And uh, this is this pretty much it. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed <laughs> doing this, and I felt the urge to share it with the world because I know how how many amazing and uh, talented musicians are there and uh, I thought that it would be amazing if someone would uh, like stumble upon my video and, and then realize wow this is actually pretty cool I can do something really nice with it and then I would love if someone could uh, share his own like tracks which they could build with it and stuff so yeah this is pretty much it. Thank you for your attention and uh, leave any comments that you like and whatever. <laughs> yeah. See ya, people.